that's enough that we need padding. So this is going to have a generous, well, that was a generous yawn. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is going to have a generous secondary there. Usually what I do is I wrap around the toes first and, and go up and then do my loop back and forth. So here. So I would want to flip it and then go. But yes, absolutely. Yes? Okay. So yeah, you can do it that way. Okay. So this way I've got it stuck on and then mm -hmm. yep, that's fine. come around. We're not going to go too far up the leg with this one. We want to aim to for the narrow spot to take advantage of the that carpus. That 50%? Yeah. So so right about there. That's plenty far enough up the leg. Yeah. This now we need lots more padding. More? Okay. <coughs> oh yeah. So what I okay, I'm just gonna do this bit to show everybody okay. what I do. So at this point I loop it around my thumb uh -huh. and go over the toes. Loop it around my finger, go over the toes, come back down, and then turn it over so I can roll going back up and incorporating all that padding. That gets lots of padding over the toes themselves. So I'm quite generous with my padding because I want this to be comfortable. I want there to be enough padding on here that when I start palpating anatomy, my anatomy is getting a little bit uncertain. And then I know that I have enough padding. There's no strength to your cast padding. So you, don't need yeah. you will need scissors in a minute, but you won't need it for that. So then there's our secondary layer, nicely padded comfortable and to absorb any bleeding. Then when we start our tertiary layer, you basically go on in the same pattern. Okay. Are we and with your with the, with the uh, conform gauze as the So how how did you would you start like that though? Um or? you can do. Okay. Yeah, you can start like that or you can just start wrapping up the toes. See, this, now uh, this now is I'm more, yeah, I, now I want to yeah. see you do it. This yes. is the way that you don't want to do see it. how Deb does yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So because it's conforming gauze, like it conforms really nicely if I don't drop it. So I start at the toe like so, and then I roll my way up. Another bandaging convention is when you're putting your bandage material on, these rolls are designed to be unrolled around the paw. When you know, it's, when you're doing a dog or a cat, there's not that much. It doesn't take you that long, it's not that big a bandage, but when you're doing an equine, it takes you a while. Okay. I can believe that. So there. So then back and forth again, so that we've got lots of padding over the toe. And so you can do a little bit of a, a figure eight on the toe to make it nice. And I'm just going to go to the end of this rather than... So then you want to guesstimate from here all the way around to here and pre-cut your loop. I pre-cut ones. Oh, you're talking about oh, those. Oh, the vet wrap. Just find the bandage turns out tidiest if I do it this way. And that way I'm absolutely sure that my toes are covered. Because my whole goal in doing this one is to keep my toes covered. And then you can roll your vet wrap on. You've unrolled and re-rolled yep. your vet wrap, it yes. looks like it. Do you want to roll yes. it on? Sure. <clears throat> it makes it so much easier. And don't forget to unroll off the bandage. So flip that over yeah. and unroll off your bandage. Yeah. Now you need to come back down and just get that one. You can go up and then go around again. Yeah. I always get that little thing. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'll give you a hint so that that doesn't happen. <clears throat> Do the... Go up, like you did. go up here and come back down. Oh, okay. Okay, Easy. like a little half figure eight. Okay. And then overlap 50% as we go up. Does that wrap stick to fur? No. No. Perfect. And then make sure that it's not too tight. You should be able to get two fingers in there. And then, if we don't do this next step, this patient will <laughs> have this off in a millisecond. So this is very important. Yeah. All the way around. You should be able to get a little finger under the edge of that to ensure that it's not too tight. Oh, it's pretty sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, if it's a real animal, then there's some give to the tissue. There's not much give on this guy. But, um, yeah, I can get my finger underneath there. Then the other thing is that we've got a loose corner here. See what this is going to do? Okay, going to curl. Okay. So you could use a half inch piece of tape and go all the way around and back on itself, or you can use a full one inch. It doesn't matter. As long as it goes around and comes back on itself. Let's go. Um, okay. That's good. Lovely. Going home, so and he's going pretty. home, so I see they're going to reinforce the sole, and I think that's a fantastic idea. Would you just do the one, or would mm -hmm. you do one and then? Yeah, for a padded paw, if we're lucky, we'll get the first day we'll get 24 out of, hours out of it, and after that we might get 48 hours out of them. But they are not. A, yeah, that yes. one it is wrinkling, yeah. so I would reinforce it. Okay. Yeah, um, I have to and admit that elastoplast not very nice color. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have this beautiful seasonal color <laughs> to go with Easter mm -hmm. and everything. And it's striped. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah, that's a beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think you.